So, Matthew, we're continuing the conversation on flood recovery. Right. Um, we've obviously presented to council on the 14th, and we had our town hall this week, and there are still some questions from residents about the process and timeline. So could you maybe talk to me a little bit about um, how we got here, I guess, and what the process is moving forward and timelines? Well, the 2020 flood occurred on April 26, uh, following which the uh, Regional Municipality of Wood Buffalo and our residents uh, worked uh, through the immediate response. Uh, we're now uh, well into the recovery uh, phase uh, of, uh, of this disaster. Uh, and uh, we have gone in front of our council twice uh, to talk about uh, both flood mitigation and development options. Uh, the flood mitigation presentation took place on June 23rd. We undertook a survey of residents uh, to start a conversation with them about what the next steps are. We refer to them as development options uh, and they range from uh, status quo, uh, so completing our flood mitigation berms, so attempting to uh, offset or uh, mitigate the risk of floods by using berms and retaining walls uh, through to buyouts. And there are uh, three communities in uh, Fort McMurray that uh, we have uh, uh, asked ourselves and now are asking uh, the public uh, whether buyouts would be considered. We'll be before council again on July 28 uh, to talk about uh, these options for the now six uh, specific flood prone areas and hopefully at the end of, uh, of that meeting we'll have direction uh, about what we can engage uh, with our community on uh, over the summer. Uh, this is an ongoing uh, 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 piece of work. Uh, this is uh, uh, a discussion uh, with the community. Uh, this is all about mitigating risk and improving the resiliency of our community.